Hey everybody, it's Brooke. We are going out on a limb today because I'm going to do a new series, or start one, called Come and Play With Me. Um, I have been messing around with some different embellishments that are completely inspired by other people. Let me just um, say that. Uh, like Gail Agostinelli says, not an original, not an thought original in my head. thought. But so many people have so many good ideas. So this is actually something that I saw on Gail's channel, and I think somebody sent it to her in a Happy Mail. Um, I'll link her channel down below so that you can take a look. Um, okay, that's not true. The Nice Old Man will link that video, Gail's video, down below so you can take a peek at her fabulous channel. But what this is, um, I saw, as I said, I saw this idea on her channel, and then I kind of gave it my own twist by making it into a triple envelope. So you've got your envelope here, and then when you open it, it opens once, and then it opens up again. And I've got Project Life cards. Yep, still working on getting rid of those. I've got Project Life cards tucked in each of the envelopes. So there's tons of room for photos and journaling and memorabilia, whatever you like, more journaling space or photo space here. And then it all folds up into this nifty little packet slides right under there to close. You can either glue it onto your page or slip it into a pocket or what have you. As you can see, I did kind of a not great job lining it up because this was my prototype. But I thought that I would come and try to make another one that lines up better on camera with you guys. Maybe you'd like to craft along, play along with me, as we say. So the first thing that uh, I'm gonna pull out here is this paper from Hobby Lobby. Sorry. That's me clanking around, moving stuff. I guess I should start with really, uh, I'm gonna use my envelope punch board, some glue, some scissors, um, my phone folder, and some different papers and whatnot. So that's what we're using. Again, this is from Hobby Lobby, and I love this paper because it's, well, I love the patterns on it, but it is not cardstock weight, it's lighter weight so that that envelope doesn't get really, really bulky. So I'll just go through and pull out a few pages. I'm in Maine, so lobsters will be appropriate, I think. And I'm gonna use three different ones. Um, I really like this one with the postmarks on it. Yep, cannot, see already I can tell. I can't do stuff and talk at the same time. I just can't. This is going to be interesting. And uh, I think I want another one with that reddish lobster color in it. How about this one? I like this one. Okay. So that is for our three envelopes. Three pieces of paper. Get this out of the way. I have another desk behind me in case you're wondering why I'm flailing around. Uh, I just put stuff I'm not using right then behind me. So we have our three papers. And I want to make four by six or six by four envelopes to hold those Project Life cards. So here's my punch board. And to make a four by six envelope, uh, I need to cut these down to eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. So let's grab our paper cutter. Oops, upside down. I know I need a new blade in this thing. I should have probably done that before I started filming, huh? Oh, well, this is... Uh, this is an experiment. Who knows if you will ever even see it because it could just be that I'm a hot mess and nobody needs to see this. So at any rate, I'm going to try, I'm going to go crazy and try to cut all three pieces at once. And I'm going up to eight and a quarter. And again, this is thin enough so you can kind of do it all at once. But yeah, I can see it's kind of, it's rough. I really do need to replace that. All right. So there's eight and a quarter. Turn it once, square it up again. Go back to eight and a quarter. Kind of make sure it's all pressed in there. So we have three squares that are eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. Whoops. And we'll pull back our punch board. And I like to do the scoring on the back side because I can see it more clearly. So for this envelope, our score line is at three and three eighths. So I'm sure everyone in the universe has one of these and knows how to use it, but I'll just do this one um, to show you. I'm lining up the left-hand edge at three and three-eighths. 
give it a punch, grab my bone folder, score it right down that line. This paper is thin enough that I go pretty lightly and just go down a couple times so that I don't end up tearing into it. Then I rotate that counterclockwise, line my fold, fold mark or my crease mark up with this little foot, punch it again, crease it lightly a couple times, just running it right down this track. Again, turn it counterclockwise, line up my score mark, punch, score. It's very soothing. I don't know. I find repetitive things to be soothing. I don't know what that says about me. And then I'm lining up this little foot again with the crease mark, but I'm also looking over here to make sure I'm going to get a nice crease in there so that we are all lining up. So I'm kind of um, splitting the difference between the two. We'll see how that goes. And crease that. Did I punch? I don't think I punched. Oops. There we go. All right, so that is pretty much our envelope made. And then what you do is just go along those score lines that you made. You use your bone folder. I start in the middle and go out um, just to make sure that the fold doesn't get wonky and out of line. And fold right along there. Check it out right there. I'm kind of looking up here in my corners to make sure we've got a nice neat fold. Nothing hanging out. Pretty good, pretty close. I think I can live with it. And then this is the last one. See, we've got a little bit of wonkiness right up here. I don't know if you can see that. I'll put it up closer to the camera. See that little bit right there? I can live with it. I'll ink it um, when I ink all the envelopes and I don't think it's gonna be very noticeable. So that's our envelope. Then what I like to do is take this, and this is the fold that uh, is going to be, this is the bottom of the envelope, and I just run my bone folder right along here, which is so not straight, but right between these two pieces. I like to fold this point down because I don't like how it looks. So hopefully we got that straight. Yeah, that looks pretty straight. As straight as anything is in my world. Go ahead and fold that down. And then on the back of your punch board, this little doohickey is a corner rounder, in case you didn't know. Some people may have gone years owning their envelope punch board and not knowing that. It's, I can't imagine who that would be, but I guess it could happen. So then that makes a nice little pretty rounded point. And we have our first envelope. So again, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the camera and do the other two because, you know, how interesting was that? You know what? What the heck? I'll go ahead and do one more. I'll do the lobsters because they're fun. So again, I'm going to put this at, let me double check my measurements, three and three eighths for the first punch. So I'm just lining up the edge of my paper up here. Give it a punch. Crease it lightly, counterclockwise, line it up with that, lining this foot up with my crease mark, give it a punch, give it a crease, counterclockwise again. I'm sure you're ready to turn this video off and go running down the street screaming with boredom. It gets more interesting in a minute, I promise. And then the last punch and crease again, eyeballing it right in this corner, punching it and creasing it, and flip this around to do our top corner round. Put that up out of the way. Actually, let's get these out of the way. I can't think when there are a bunch of bits on my desk. And I did not just throw that on the floor or anything. I actually have a little scrap bucket <laughs> that lives up there. And so once again, we're just going to fold it up, kind of do it gently while you're looking at um, how your corners are lined up. Grab your bone folder, start in the middle, start in the middle, turn it again, go a little gently while you're 
checking out the matches up here in the middle. This paper kind of cracks me up. Those lobsters are terrifying. Anything in groups that large is terrifying to me, especially live things. Unless it's puppies, I guess. I wouldn't mind a giant group of puppies. Got that all folded down. Go ahead and do that final fold and give it a burnish. And that looks pretty good. Make this fold. Am I even in camera? That would help, wouldn't it? This is hard, talking and doing at the same time. I knew it was going to be tricky. I didn't know it would be quite this hard. Probably why I put it off for this long, huh? Yeah. Yeah, right. Straighten that up. That is so not straight. Eek. Let's see if I can fix that. Manipulate that a little bit. It's going to have to do. Yeah, so not straight. All right. But I can live with it. So then we have our second envelope. And now I really am going to turn off the camera and make that third envelope. And we'll come back and put them all together. Hold on to your hats. All right, so I went ahead and inked up, cut the last envelope and inked up most of them. But I'm going to do the lobsters again on camera. And I'm just going around the edges with Vintage Photo distress oxide because my regular distress vintage photo died and I haven't done anything about it like order a new one so this will work just fine you can probably tell I'm pretty loosey-goosey but this is supposed to be fun not stressful so I try to keep that in mind anyway so I'm going around all the little edges giving them a little smooch of ink I'm also getting my fingers covered in ink, but hey, I live that way. And let's see. Oh, these top edges need it. Did I miss something? I feel like I'm missing a part. Nope, guess not. Well, if I am, that'll be fine. All right, so I'll put the lid back on that and get it out of the way. So now we have all three of our envelopes. And we have to decide what order they're going to go in. And, oh, these are going to be upside down. Fun. All right, well, I want my lobsters to be on top. So I'm going to go ahead and seal this up. I like this um, mono liquid glue aqua because it really doesn't wrinkle the paper. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and, oh, I'm almost out. Eek, there we go. Just a little bit. Try not to seal the envelope closed. Don't ask me how I know that. Don't ask me why I would say that. And then just go ahead and give that a rub. Okay, so that's our very first envelope. Then I think I want this guy in the middle. And it occurs to me that it's gonna go like this. And I don't want this big flap like that on the back. So even after we corner rounded it, Yep, gonna go ahead and lop it off. Oh, I hit the camera, holy cats. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think I'll leave, I don't know, maybe a quarter of an inch to glue. Maybe a little bit more. And then go ahead and take that off. And I'm gonna do it on the striped one too. line that up and cut that part off. Let's see if I can move my cutter without smacking you guys around. So sorry about that. All right, so we go back to, here's our lobster. I want this guy next. So let's see. That'll work. So I'm going to go ahead and seal it up. I tried putting my glue down on the side so it would keep running, but I think I really am getting low. Exactly what I need, an excuse to go to Michael's or Joanne's. Go ahead and press those down. 
And what I'm going to do is run a little bead of glue across the lip that we left and glue these two guys. Now, you want to not go exactly up to the crease because you want there to be enough room to fold. So I'm just going to lift that up and see how it aligns before I press too hard. Check it out on the back. Oh yeah, I like that much better with just that, just that little strip right there. So it lined up this time, yay. Go ahead and pull this one down and put our very last envelope together. Run that bead of glue. So far, I don't think I've glued anything closed, which is pretty, uh, pretty impressive for me. And fold that up, give it a rub. All my folds across there are crooked, good grief. That's my folding. You should see my cutting. Huh? Yeah. And once again, go ahead and just run a little bead of glue on the tab that we left. Pick this up. Line it up the best you can. Not right up to the crease so that there's room for folding. Oop. Ugh. And before I press too hard, I want to fold it up and see how the alignment looks. I guess I could have left a little more of a lip on there. Pretty good. Pretty good. So give that a good press and let's turn it over and burnish it down. Oh, I like that a lot. Yep, I like how that came out. So now we have our little triple pocket got our lobsters and our postmarks and it's all nice and lined up if you open that up flip it down there's one pocket flip it down another pocket third pocket and then there's all the real estate when you fold it like that yay all right so I'm going to grab my distress ink one more time oh and we're crooked we're so crooked oh well that's it's my life I live crooked just gonna go ahead and ink this edge again. I don't know, it looks like I didn't catch it well enough. So we'll just go ahead and do that. Right, right across the top. Now I'm gonna go through my little bucket of tiny die cuts and see what I have that we can use to hold the envelope closed. I just have this plastic container that I use. And this is where I put the ones that are so small I'll lose. So just flip through here see what we have. Kind of like to have a little bit of red. A lot of these are Tim Holtz and Heidi Swap. Oh, I kind of like this airmail. It goes with the postmarks. Oh, I like that. Yep, that's what we're going to use. So I'm going to grab my ink again. Just go really lightly. I didn't even dip it back into the ink. Just going to smooch along the edges. I find that doing this also will take off some of the tags, the little tabs that are left from the um, cutting process in the factory. Sometimes you get those little white edges that don't look so great. So I'm just going to run a bead of glue along the bottom of this guy. And eyeball it. I want it to be right about there. Straighten it up. Hold it down for a minute and I'm just going to wipe off the glue that oozed out. It dries clear. It's got a little bit of a shine, but it's nothing major. Mush it down with my hand a little bit. And see how oh, holds it perfectly. Yay. All right. And then the last thing I'm going to do is go through little these before I spill them everywhere because you know that's coming. Just go ahead and close it up. Put it over with my ink. And then pull out my one of my boxes of Project Life cards and see what we can stick in those pockets. Yep, this is box one of five of my Project Life cards. That's not embarrassing, but that is why I'm going through and trying to get rid of them. So let's see what we have in the four by sixes. This happened. 
Oh, I kind of like it there. That works for me. Let me scoot this over a little bit. I think I might like that one there. Enjoy every moment. I, oh, I don't like those. They're for, um, they've got the directions on where to put them in the back. Um, and that doesn't look so great. Some airplanes, but that's awfully pinky. Oh, the story for the record. I like the gold a lot. I think I could live with that. Yep, I think that might be doable. And then keep going through. Let's see what else there is. Let me just pull these out so you guys can see. Hmm. Oh, I kind of like that because I like the golds. I think I might like that one. Move these to the side. It's kind of busy, but you know that that is my... That's my bag. Busy is my bag. Yeah, I think I like that one. So I'm gonna stick him in there. I guess I could go around and distress the edges, but I will spare you. Stick that one in there. Stick that one in there. And voila, look at that. A triple envelope that will hold a ton of things. There's the back. Again, you can glue it straight onto your page. You can stick it in another pocket or an envelope, uh, but you've got so much space for writing and memory keeping and photos. And I am just thrilled with that. So thank you, Gail, for the inspiration. And I hope you guys enjoyed that, that it wasn't too tedious. And thanks for putting up with me in my first attempt at a come play with me. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up subscribe down below and all of the information will be down there for you to stalk us on the interwebs. We do have a Facebook page as well, Recreations by Brooke. Go check us out. Thanks everybody. Have a great day. Bye.